Hey guys, welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So here we want to write the following for loop as a summation. And I have the for loop in green in this rectangular box here. And it says int sum equals zero. So we have a variable, a variable called sum. It's an integer and we're setting the value to zero. Then we have our first for loop and it says for um, integer i equals one. It's gonna run while i is less than or equal to four and it's gonna increment i by one each time. And then within this loop is another loop, an inner loop. And this for loop says uh, j equals one. It's gonna run while j is less than or equal to three and then j is gonna increment by one each time. And then we have our sum here and we have sum plus equals i times j. So this is really just saying sum equals sum plus i times j. So hopefully that's not too confusing. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to write these two for loops as summations, and then we're going to solve for what the value of sum will be after the program runs. All right. So first off, we have our outer summation, and it runs from i equals one all the way to four. All right, that's what we have here for the first loop. And within that loop, we have another loop. So we're gonna have another summation and it's gonna run from J equals one all the way to three. And we can see that for our second loop here. And then within that loop, we have our sum, which is i times, I'm going to use a little asterisk uh, for times, j. All right, and then we're just going to close it like that. So now we've written our for loop, or this code fragment, as a summation. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to solve it. So I'm going to simplify this a little bit. It's going to make it uh, without the parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite it here again without the parentheses. Three, and then we have i times j. Okay, just make it look a little bit better. And now what we can do is we can rewrite this again. So we're going to get the summation from i equals one all the way to four of i because you can pull out that i because it's really a constant within that uh, second summation times the summation from j equals one to three of j. Okay, so now that we've rewritten it like this, um, we can use a formula to figure this out. And I write down the formula, I put it here. Um, but you know, we really don't even need a formula, but I'll go ahead and write it here. So the formula says from i equals one to n of i is equal to n uh, times n plus one divided by two. Okay, so this is the formula that we can use to solve this equation over here. All right, so now we can just rewrite this using the, the formula that we have. So the first one will become four times four plus one divided by two. And then the second summation will become three times three plus one divided by two. Okay. And let's see, we get four times five divided by two times three times four divided by two. And this is equal to uh, 10. I'm just gonna go ahead and multiply the four and five and divide it by two. So I'm kind of technically skipping a step, but that's okay. I think you guys uh, can do that. And then I'm gonna do three times four, which is 12 divided by two. So we're gonna get six here. Okay, and the final answer is 60. So sum is equal to 60. All right. So thank you guys. I hope you 
enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Um, I have many videos on algorithm analysis, on AVL trees, uh, on recurrence relation, on many things that deal with computer science. So be sure to check those out and don't forget to subscribe and leave likes, any comments and questions you have. Let me know if you see any mistakes. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video.